There could be, what, 100 pitches in a game usually for our age? You've got to be ready to move, focused, 100 pitches out of 100. Everyone got it? How many times in a game have you had a ball that was hit, that was just out of your reach, left, right, back, you died, you just missed it? How many times that happened? A lot, right? Yeah, a lot of balls just get through. Now, from what I've seen, a lot of guys don't get in real good position to move. Guys that have been with us or get yelled at a lot, Ready to move? That's kind of what I yell. But you've got to be ready to move 100 pitches out of 100 pitches. What I see in the fall from some guys, ready positions like this, ready positions like this, ready positions to pick the noses. Those are the balls that are hit that you just can't get to, and they get through, and most people don't even watch what you guys do to get ready. They just go, ooh, just missed that ball. And they have no idea what you look like and why you didn't get there. So we're trying to increase our range as much as possible. So here's what I talk about for ready position. First thing, when the pitcher goes into his windup, I'm working off the pitcher, because I'm trying to time the ball into the hitting zone. First thing that happens, my chest comes forward. Everyone get that? So my chest comes forward, and I personally like to go left, right. That's what I like to do. Some players kind of just move back and forth or sway, but the biggest thing is your feet gotta get moving and your chest has gotta get forward. Everyone got it? Now, as the ball is just about to cross the hitting zone, I like to do a little bit of a hop. Because I want to feel like I'm just coming down into the ground as the ball is being struck. So the ball's hit and I'm bang, I'm reading it and going. I'm not landing, flat-footed, waiting, ball hit, now I gotta try to move. Everyone got that? So I want to just be landing, the ball's being struck just as I'm coming down. If the ball goes left, bang, I'm off my right foot. If the ball goes right, bang, I'm off my left foot. See how quick I can be? Okay, now with my hands. A lot of guys are taught to do different things, have their glove out front. I was guilty of this, I look at my college photos, I was always like this, and I had like this weird stance, and I could only go to one side better than the other, and I never knew why, because no one ever told me that I looked like this trying to get ready. I have a big picture of it. But no one taught me anything about ready position back then. So, with your hands, I like, the, I, we call it thumbs up. So it's basically just, if you're just gonna stand there, have your hands by your side, say your thumbs are up, but they're just a little bit, that's the position. If me and Grady, we're gonna wrestle. Stand up, Grady, let's wrestle. Okay, we're gonna wrestle each other, right? Get ready to wrestle. Get ready to wrestle. Okay, yeah, don't, please, don't. Okay, so like if I'm gonna wrestle him, everyone see how my hands are like this? Like I'm ready to move, right? So that's the position I wanna be in. I like that. So, chest forward. I like to go left, right, I hop, my thumbs are up. I like to have them up because what do we have to do on 99% of balls? After they're hit, what do we have to do? Move. Yeah, you gotta run. So the ball's hit. Bang! I gotta run left. I gotta run right. I gotta come back to the left. I gotta charge the ball. Right? Very rarely does the ball get hit and just goes right in my glove and I don't move anywhere. Got so you gotta be ready to move. Thumbs up. And now I can just run anywhere I want. Okay? So that's the key. Chest forward. That's what I'm gonna work on today. Chest forward. We'll either sway or walk into it, little bit of a hop with thumbs up position, all right? And now I can move anywhere I want. And you gotta do it every single time. Because 100 pitches in the game, there might only be one ball hit to you. Might be no balls. All right, but one ball hits you. And if that one ball, you're like this, and it gets by you by three inches, and we lose the game, all because we couldn't focus for 100 pitches. We only did 99, okay? Those are the keys I got today. First drill. You're gonna be right there. We'll go actually, let's go right on the top. There we go. 
You're going to start behind the cone. You're going to have your chest forward. When it's your turn to go, you're going to work your feet as quick as you can. See how my feet are real close? Quick, 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 quick. I'm going to go all the way around the cone. When you get here, we're going to roll the ball. You're going to tack it to the right side, field it, and throw. Everybody got that? So that's working on, as we get into the ball, we want to have short steps. That's just working on keeping our feet under us, staying low to the ground. Quick, 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 quick. Get into the ball, field it, throw. Okay? That's the first drill. Flamingo drill. You're going to balance on your right foot. If you're a lefty, balance on your other foot. So you're going to balance, chest forward. Ball's going to be rolled at you. What foot are we timing up on the catch? Yes, lefties time up the other foot. I'm right here. I time up my foot to the catch. I bring the ball to the middle. I go right to left of the target. I throw it into the net. Everyone got that? So. Remember, you've got to time it, so it shouldn't land, then catch. It's got to be back, go. Over there is going to be normal round balls. You're going to get into a ready position, ready to move, ball's hit. What side of the ball do I get to? Right side of the ball. I get it right on my left ear. I work not way around it, just get it on my left ear. Right left field, right left throw. Everyone got it? Those are the three drills we're going to start off doing. Over there, we're going to do hands routine again. In the back, we're going to go through three different drills to work on our posture when we get the ball. So the first one, Coach Connor is going to run that one. You're going to line up in the hallway. First guy is going to be ready. You're going to have your glove on, your hand in your glove like you got a ball. Chest forward, butt out. And all you're going to do is this, shuffle. All the way down the hallway. Everyone got that? Because when we field the ball and we go to throw, what's our footwork? Yeah, right to left, left to target. It's the opposite of a secondary lead, right? So we're going to do that one. Then, after you do that a few times, we're going to do shuffle and then we're just going to pinch our scaps back like we're going to throw. So we're going to go, we'll do two shuffles. So we'll go shuffle, shuffle, pinch and stop. That's it. Everyone got that? Then you put it back in here. Shuffle, shuffle, pinch, and stop. Got it? And then the last one, we'll go shuffle, shuffle, throw. So we'll go shuffle, shuffle, throw, follow through. And we'll set back up. Shuffle, shuffle, throw, follow through. Notice how the ball is right here the whole time, right? We don't bring the ball up here. We don't bring the ball down here. We don't bring the ball out here. Right to our center chest, right here. Okay, our elbows go out. Shuffle, boom. Quick, 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 quick. Chest forward. Chest forward. Thumbs up. You kick my cone. Put the cone back, put the cone back, put the cone back. Uh, quicker, feet closer together. Quick, get them up, get them down. Time up your left foot. Keep your heads up, keep your heads up. Quick, quick. Heads up. Move through your target. Heads up. Good. Chest forward. Yeah, move towards your target. Time it up. Time it. Take your left foot more towards the target. Don't roll it down. Don't roll your foot out. Hey, nice shoes. And push up. Good touch on the left foot. Go to the ball. There you go. Go to the ball. Don't be blind. Because you're looking at it. Good chest forward. Work through it. Make sure, good ready position. Left, right, little hop. Little hop. Keep it on your left eye. Pretty good job, that was a lot of reps right there in one hour, all right? Make sure, again, the drills seem like really controlled, but there's something you can work on in every drill, all right? So, 
couple of things I saw, I still see too many guys holding on to their glove. So they go, go, grab glove, run like this, right? The glove should never come here when I'm running. Remember, I'm in this position so that I can do what? Run, just run, yeah. I don't want to be here and then come up and hug my glove. All right, so pay attention. And that's why these drills, are these, that's why we're doing these drills. We're rolling you the ball so that you can work on breaking those habits. Because if we just start smashing balls down your throat, do you think you're going to be able to say, okay, chest forward, okay, keep my thumbs up? No, you're going to be like, I have to protect myself from getting a ball smashed down. On a roll ball, I can think about it, okay? So, no holding the glove. Make sure, how many hands do we feel the ball with when it's inside our body? Two, I'm feeling two hands. Yeah, a routine ground ball should be here, two hands, deflected. Ball comes right up here and it's out quick. If you're always doing this with one hand, you have to catch it. Now you have to dig in, get a good grip, and then break your uh, hands. Cool, all right? If the ball is hit routinely, where you can get to the right of the ball and work this way, I want to feel it off my what? Left eye. Left eye. Close. Yeah, I want to get the ball on my left there, feel it off my left eye. A couple guys are going out here on a routine ball and then catching it over here. Keep your angles tight and feel it right off your left eye. And we've got to go towards our target. Some guys do this. Throw them that way, right? Some guys do this. Go towards your target, throw, follow, but towards your target. If I'm throwing there, my body shouldn't be going there. I think infield is one of the least taught things, like technically. Not, not here, we teach infield a lot, but I'm just saying in general, what do most people coach and talk to guys about mechanically? Hit it. And then next is pitching probably, right? Right? Everyone talks about hitting movements and mechanics and pitching and everything. And then it's really hard if you're if you're not here, you don't get a lot of infielders don't get taught a whole lot. It's like catch the ball, throw the ball, right? But catch the ball, throw the ball only works to some point. And then the game becomes too quick. And just if you catch the ball, if you have bad footwork and you just catch the ball and you throw like this and you get it over, that only works to a certain level and then it don't work anymore. Right? So, some of you guys probably have never been told a thing in your life about fielding, which is okay. That means you have a lot that we can teach you. That's why I said take notes early, but make sure we're really paying attention and listening and trying as hard as we can. Because one thing I really know is that, I know a couple things. One, infielders in Massachusetts, you think they're as good as the infielders in like Florida and Texas and California? No, it's not even close, right? There's not a ton of infielders from up here that go on and play like high, high level baseball. Why is that? Yeah, we don't field as much, right? We don't field as much as you can't go outside. Like right now in Florida, they can be outside fielding. So we're doing our fielding in here. So what does that mean you have to do even more? Huh? Yeah, but to get as good as the guys down there. Yeah, well, you've got to work smarter. So you've got to pay attention, you've got to work on your mechanics because you don't have the luxury of going out and taking a thousand ground balls in winter. Two, you've got to do stuff on your own at your house, right? Because the only place you can really feel, right, it's, it's 22 degrees outside, it's hard to get outside, it snowed today, so it's hard to get, get inside and feel all the time, but you can do it in your garage, you can do it in your basement, you can do it off your bedroom wall if your parents let you, but you've got to make sure you get the work in outside of just here. Right? Because twice a week fielding here isn't going to be enough to break some of your habits. It can be if you really focus in, but get extra work at home. Jen, don't worry. Yep, soft with those hands. Soft. Quick feet. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Yeah, make sure you're ready to move. Open the glove early. Chest forward, butt out. Good, go. Go. Right in the middle, go. Go. 
Shuffle, shuffle, break. Good. Shuffle, shuffle, break. Go. 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 Good. We keep saying, show your glove early, right? And so, does everyone know what that means when I say show your glove early? Open your glove early? Everyone understand? This would be on a backhand, when the ball is hit. I cannot wait until the ball is right there to go like this. That's late. I also can't have the back of my glove showing and then do that, that's late. I've got to be, as I start to lower, I open the glove. Now I'm here, now I catch. Everyone got that? If it's right at you, this is, this is late. Some of you hold in your glove, and then you go like this, late. This would be early. I took one, a video with Jonathan, I'll show you in a second. He was here, and then he opened. He was here, bang, caught it. So that's, that's early. All right, everyone got that? All right, so I'm going to show a couple of players up here. This is not meant to embarrass anybody. This is just meant to show you what it looks like. I want you to tell me if this is early or late. Here's Takumi. <laughs> here he goes. Watch. Okay, watch that. Okay, watch Ty. All right, here goes Ty with his red gear on. <laughs> Plays for a black and gold team. Is that early or late? Early. Yeah, that's early. It's open. The ball isn't there yet. Huh? How's it late? That's not late. Okay, then he feels it. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Now, I already told you this, but watch. Now watch as he goes over. What side of the glove is facing the ball? The back. The back. Odin does that. Uh, a handful of you do that. The back. Now watch. Then it opens. But see how it took, like right there, it should be showing. But that's the back of the glove. Now you've got to flip the glove all the way around to catch it. What's pointing at the ball right now? The back of the glove. 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 Now you flash to the There. You're going to be late in the game. It's Yeah, it's too high. He's coming in from the top. Look at it. He's going to stab, right? Then he stabs down at the ball. And then the ball doesn't go in. You almost never get the glove open, right? Because you're stabbing at it. Watch his hands, ready? See how he goes from thumbs up? See how his chest forward? This is regular now. Now see how he starts to open. So the glove is open, the ball, glove's on the ground, it's showing to the ball, that would be on time. Everyone see that? Everyone's so nervous right now that I'm gonna throw them up there. I wanna show you one thing. Sorry, Oliver. Hey, <laughs> Oliver. Watch, this is, hold, this is what I mean when I say to you guys, you grab your gloves and hold it close to your chest. Some of you do this, you don't do this the worst, Oliver, but you do it. See how you're holding on to your glove? So you're going to open it like this, and you almost don't get there. See how, look it, it's not open, 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 and now it opens at the very last second. See the difference? Okay. Does everyone see the difference between opening early and opening late? So, thank you for all of you that let us show you. You didn't let us, I just showed you anyway. But, not meant to embarrass anybody. What do you need to be a great infielder? Okay, let's talk about the mental game because this is such an important part of fielding and a lot of people don't talk about this. If a hitter hits a ball 90 plus miles an hour, the ball's gonna travel about 90 feet 
and a half a second. I catch when my left foot lands. I get to the right, I brace, I go. So I'm gonna bring the ball here as my right foot starts to go to my left. take the ball out of my glove, my fingers should be on top of the ball. I don't take it out like this. I don't take it out like this. I'm on top of the ball right here. But it's not just about fielding the ball again. It's about fielding the ball properly every single time. If you're just gonna wait for your team to practice, you're not gonna be a very good fielder. If you're just gonna wait to field at practice when your coach actually does fielding practice, you're not gonna be a very good fielder. If you think you're gonna get great fielding three to five balls in infield outfield, you're crazy. You've gotta field a lot. And so you've gotta field before practice, you've gotta field after practice, you've gotta be able to do it on your own. Don't just wait for somebody to say, let's go practice infield. Go grab somebody and say, let's practice infield.